Twila couple will be spending Valentine's Day apart. That's because the husband tested positive for coronavirus at a Japanese hospital last night. The wife still quarantined aboard the Diamond Princess cruise ship for the next five days, we're told. ABC 4's Rosie Nguyen joining us in studio with how he is doing tonight, Rosie. Emily Glenn, John Herring's wife Melanie says he's feeling fine now. But as Japanese officials continue to learn more about the coronavirus, they're not taking any chances. The couple has no idea when they'll see each other again, but they're doing their best to stay optimistic. Tuila resident Melanie Herring didn't expect to spend Valentine's Day this year alone. Her husband John, forced to disembark the Diamond Princess cruise ship on Wednesday without her. He's in isolation, total isolation. So. The couple planned on devoting six months to travel and see the world. But on the 4th, their plans came to an abrupt halt. Officials issued a two-week quarantine order for their entire ship amidst a coronavirus outbreak. So far, there's been more than 200 identified cases on board. Well, we are in a uh, uh, inside cabin, so there's no light coming in or no uh, windows. Four days ago, Melanie called for the ship's medical team after John began experiencing flu-like symptoms. Although his fever broke on Wednesday, crews still transported him to a nearby Japanese hospital where he later tested positive for coronavirus. It's hard watching someone that you care about that's so strong go through that. John now sits in isolated quarantine at the hospital, receiving his food only through this window in the door. Doctors say he will remain in confinement until he tests negative for coronavirus twice in a row. Meanwhile, Melanie trying to stay optimistic as she waits for updates. This is just a bump in the road, really. So I, I, I feel confident he'll get over this and that uh, we'll be on our way. Melanie says she's still waiting to be tested as she's been in constant close contact with John. They say once they're cleared of the coronavirus, they plan to resume their trip and head to Australia next. Emily, back to you.